Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Now, I'm in the middle of traveling, so I'm working on my laptop, and I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity for me to showcase how I work with images straight off of my iCloud drive. Now, I'm not sure if this is fully supported, so what I'm showing you is really just something that I have found to work for myself, and I just wanted to share it with the community. So if your mileage is different on this when you try it out for yourselves, then by all means, leave it in the comment section below. Or if you know of some other options, then please let me know. All right, so to go ahead and access my iCloud drive, I'm gonna come over here to the favorite section and I'm gonna click the plus icon. This brings me to my finder. Now, I wanna make it clear, I'm using a Mac computer with the Sonoma version of the Mac OS, which is Mac OS 14. On that version of Mac, I get the uh, iCloud option over here on the left pane. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. And then I'm gonna choose the folder inside of my iCloud drive. You can have whatever you want in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on photos. And then I'm going to scroll down to this folder that says PA Capital Photo Walk, and I'm going to hit open. Now, what on one is going to do is it's going to place this folder, uh, favorites folder, up here inside of the favorites tab. So if I click on this, I'm going to get this dialog. Now, this dialog says when browsing folders stored in iCloud Drive, Browse can only see and open photos that are stored locally, not exclusively in the cloud. Note that most files will not appear in Browse. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And I'm not entirely sure what that note means because all of these images are actually in the iCloud and they're showing up. So you can see I have 702 files that are showing up and that's how many files that were actually in the folder so i don't know if that disclaimer is just something to kind of safeguard or you know to give you fair warning or manage expectations not entirely sure but if i wanted to i could just go ahead and i'm just going to select a folder here or i'm sorry a photo here at random we'll go with this one so I can open it. I'm in the edit module now and I can use Brilliance AI. I can do all of the things that I would typically want to do with my images. So this could be a great option to edit images on the go or have some form of cloud editing option inside of On One Photo Raw. I know some people have been looking for a method and the On One 360 is also an option, but if that's not something that you wanted to invest in, then this could be an alternate method. So I'd love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. And if you got questions or want to learn more about On One Photo Raw, consider uh, signing up for a coaching call. You can do that as well by clicking on the link in the description box below. Until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.